For a gear shaft system, we plan to use two shafts made of the same material with the same diameter. The material for the shafts has a shear modulus of 80 GPa and a maximum allowable shearing stress of 60 MPa. If we want the angle of twist of B with respect to A to not exceed 1 degrees, what should the diameter of the shaft be? This is the third example for the torsion review main video, link below, so make sure to watch that one first if you haven't already. You would of course not have a gear shaft system like this in real life, but if you had a motor at D and some output of the power at A, like for example a tire overcoming an external torque, when the system is moving at a constant rotation speed, meaning there is no angular acceleration and therefore the sum of torques is zero, this is a good simplified representation of that system. So it's still worth studying. Just like in the previous video, link below, the diameter restrictions will be given by stress analysis and not exceeding the given angle of twist. Since the only thing I'm missing from these expressions is the internal torque of the shafts, the first thing we can do is find it by doing two free body diagrams. By looking at the gears, we see that the reaction torque at C comes from the force that gear B exerts on C. The reaction force FCB would have the same magnitude and be opposite in direction which means that B is subjected to a clockwise torque and the reaction torque at A has a counterclockwise direction. Since torque is force times radius, the force is torque over radius, which means TB is 2500 newton meters. If the internal torque between A and B is 2500 and the internal torque between C and D is only 1000, the maximum stress will occur inside shaft AB. Using the 2500 newton meter torque, we find that the diameter of the shafts should be at least 59.6 millimeters. And since the other restriction depends on the angle of twist of B with respect to A, which in radians is 0.0174, we find that the diameter should be at least 52 millimeters. If I want the angle of twist to be lower than 1 degrees and for the shafts to not exceed the maximum allowable shearing stress, my design would recommend a diameter of at least 59.6 millimeters. We will cover gears, shafts and bearings design in much much more detail later, so it's very important that you understand these basic concepts of how force and torques are translated between one gear to the other. Thanks for watching.